Good morning, everybody. And uh, I do want to say again, thank you to the frontline workers that are out there in our community every day making us safe. Uh, the hospital workers and everyone else. And even, like I said, talking about the uh, employees that, from our security guards to our sanitation workers to everyone that's out there keeping us moving forward. Thank you for what you do day in and day out. And uh, I can't thank you enough for all that. So as of today, this morning, we have 621 positive cases of the coronavirus, up 47 from yesterday. 747 people under mandatory quarantine and 51 people under precautionary quarantine. We're up 31 people being under mandatory quarantine and just uh, up two for our precautionary. As of today, 1,508 people have completed quarantine. Of those, 312 tested positive for the virus and have recovered. We have 35 people hospitalized with a hospitaliz hospitalization rate of 5.6% of those have tested positive. And uh, yesterday the rate was at 5.92. We have seven adults in ICU. Uh, we're up one from yesterday. We're seeing the results now coming in from UAlbany and uh, the tests are starting to come back. More and more people are utilizing it. So you are gonna see the numbers creep up. Uh, we, Dr. Whelan and I both thought they would be up a little bit higher by this point in time, but taste, testing takes time. And when you're testing the volume of people that are going through UAlbany and with the new testing sites that we opened up, it takes time. So unfortunately, sometimes it takes four or five days to get results back, uh, sometimes six. Uh, I know people that get the test on get a little anxious and I don't blame them, they wanna know. Uh, but you know, look at when you're trying to test everyone at this level uh, and you didn't have the laboratory uh, to, the laboratories to handle all this, uh, bear with us, they're trying to make it work and I commend Governor Cuomo and his team for trying to make this work and expanding test it so it comes back more rapidly. Out of the sites that we opened up, the walk-up sites, our Warren Street site saw 30 people, our Water Vliet site saw 21, Whitney Young saw 50, and uh, Bleecker Terrace, there was nine, so we're trying to get more information out to the people in the Bleecker Terrace area, so if you're watching this uh, or listening to this, please, by all means, get on and, and make that phone call so we can get you tested uh, if you have the signs and symptoms. And we tested about 110 uh, just in our f a few couple of days, so we're hoping that you know we're gonna be able to get more testing to people that need it, but that number, as always, is 518-465-4771. Area code 518-465-4771. I know there's a lot of healthy people that want to get tested. We can't test you. We can't. There's not enough test kits. Uh, we have to test people that have signs and symptoms. Uh, I apologize. We would love to test you, but we can not until we uh, get enough tests. And I know that it's a priority of the governor to reopen up New York State is to get everyone tested and get them back to work and have ongoing testing so we can address the issue and make sure even if you got tested one day, if you need to get tested again, you can get it done and be protected. So that's one thing we continue to uh, work on. The other thing is, uh, yesterday we talked about our nursing home. We had 13 P, uh, residents that were positive. We had four workers that were positive one, and one that was, that was positive but recovered. So, But as of yesterday, we had another one uh, worker, not resident, worker that tested positive. We've been aggressive out there testing all the residents and workers uh, to stay ahead of this. And we're going to continue uh, to give more attention to our nursing home because, as you know, on a national level, it's been a huge issue. So. We're staying on top of that. So I want to thank everyone out there, Larry Slacky and his whole team. I went out to the nursing home yesterday with Sean Thallon to visit, uh, to see how the workers were doing. And uh, I couldn't even get in the building. <laughs> I wasn't allowed. I'm like, I'm the county executive. Like, yeah, we don't care. Uh, they didn't let me in. Uh, and rightfully so. They don't want people in there that shouldn't be there. Um, so uh, I commend them for doing their job in uh, making sure that everyone stays safe. So that's our priorities here. So these difficult times, you know, with, you know, 22 million American people applying for unemployment, uh, out of work, don't know how they're gonna put food on their table, don't know how they're gonna pay the rent, pay the mortgage, pay their insurance, their cell phones, whatever it may be, their heat, 
um, it's difficult times. And this is when we need to come together in a community and stand together uh, in solidarity and show that we do care and that the best part of us comes out in an epidemic like this. And it is. The best part is coming out with us. You've heard me talk about my daily briefings about Feed Albany many times. So to Feed Albany and everything they're doing, I can't thank them enough. But the group came together, many from restaurants, uh, backgrounds to help people in Albany in the greater capital region get food. So I can't thank them enough. They uh, have been packaged in mails and put together uh, in commercial kitchens by unemployed restaurant workers who are volunteering their time that are unemployed, volunteering their time, uh, trying to make a difference in our community, and I can't thank you enough for everything they're doing. Uh, they're using donated vehicles, they're, they're doing stuff themselves, they're preparing meals. Um, thank you, thank you. And we also know the um, Muslim community came together, they donated $20,000, and then we got it to United Way to get out with Pete Gannon to get out to everyone. So uh, to them and United Way, we can't thank enough. And Feed Albany will be getting a $10,000 uh, check from uh, Pete, we'll be talking about that. And the uh, president of Feed Albany's here, Dominic Pomono, uh, has joined me today to talk about Feed Albany and how they're helping people throughout the community. And Dominic, I, I can't thank you and your family enough. You've been pillars of this community for years, uh, not just for this. Every time there needs something to, to step up, be it the arts, be it entertainment, be it just uh, community issues, your family's always been there. And uh, I, I mean this, uh, I can't thank your family enough, but especially you. That uh, you know that you have taken this on, and uh, you've been a leader in our community. You show even when your own restaurant shut down, uh, and I can't imagine what you're going through, wondering how you're going to pay your bills and how you're going to reopen. Uh, you're giving so much back more to the community. But I'm going to let you talk, Dominic, about what's, what you're doing. Uh, thanks, Dan. Um, you know, it's, it's in these trying times. Um, one of the most beautiful and encouraging things that we see is people coming together uh, to support each other and to support those who are in need. Um, and, uh, you know, Feed Albany kind of came together overnight, uh, literally the day after our restaurants were closed to try and, and uh, feed people in our community. Uh, just this past week, uh, we've prepared 5,200 meals um, for people in the area uh, who are in need and at risk, uh, both out of work, uh, restaurant employees, um, elderly, uh, homebound people who uh, obviously for risk of uh, contracting COVID-19 are, are staying home. Um, uh, 750 families uh, right now we're, we've been feeding on a, on a weekly basis and uh, uh, we're grateful for the, the support of the community to come through um, all of our uh, everybody that's within our organization um, of course is is uh, is there on a voluntary basis uh, you know all the cooks and chefs who are preparing the meals at the three or four different kitchens both at Yono's and Savoy Taproom and Rue uh, 216 everybody uh, is out of work right now but they're uh, you know they're happy to uh, to come together and you know every day to, to cook for the community and uh, make sure that you know nobody's going without uh, in these tough times. Um, we're grateful for uh, obviously your leadership, uh, of course, of the governor and the mayor, um, the the uh, the generous donation from the Muslim community of the capital region, um, of course, the United Way uh, for helping facilitate that as well, um, and uh, you know through. Um, uh, Life Path, uh, you know, for, formerly Senior Services, uh, you know, we're helping a, a lot of homebound seniors um, through their program, uh, and of course, uh, the meal pickups that we have uh, five days a week um, at Yono's and at Savoy Tap Room, and of course, um, the deliveries that we put out every day. Today, we'll deliver another 300 meals uh, for people that are uh, that are homebound. So, um, again, grateful to the community for for stepping up and contributing to our uh, our website and our GoFundMe. Um, you know, which helps us purchase food to continue to uh, to support the community. So, thank you. Thank you, Dominic. I can't uh, I can't thank you enough for what you're doing with Feed Omni and United Way because that's why these organizations are around. And actually, I shouldn't say Feed Omni wasn't around, but uh, they stepped up into uh, to fill a void in the community to make sure we take care of people. And that and that's what it's about. So, thank you for everything you're doing and talking about that. Uh, Tracy Keller from the South End Children's Cafe that's uh, doing a ton of things for families and uh, getting them fed. Every Monday from 5 to 6 p.m., they hold a food drive. They, uh, they need packaged food, and uh, they're delivering to 350 families on Tuesdays. 
uh, 350 families they're taking care of too. So uh, to Tracy and everything you're doing there at the uh, South End Children's Cafe, thank you. Um, but they're looking for donations. They're looking for anything from eggs, milk, cereal, uh, anything that you can give to help the children is much appreciative uh, to get out to people that need it. So, and Tracy's asking everyone who wants to donate this Monday from five to six to bring the donations to 25 Warren Street in Albany. You can drop it off right outside. Volunteers will bring these donations inside right afterwards. And again, uh, she's looking for taco kits, uh, sour cream, small bags of shredded cheese, eggs, butter, and more. Uh, again, whatever you have, you can spear. That's great. We would appreciate it. Thank you to Tracy and everyone that's taking care of this and about Albany County Cares. Um, also, uh, our mental health hotline is up as always, seven, eight, or I was gonna say eight days a week again, seven days a week uh, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Please uh, call that if you have any concerns, comments, or issues. I'm gonna have uh, Dr. G. Udano on tomorrow to talk about uh, some of the stuff they've been handling, some of the questions people have. Um, who better to talk about that? And again, our 211 number from uh, United Way and the New York State Hotline. And some of the things I do wanna to say to people, to uh, CJ, the 10 year old who sent me the video, I like the video, thank you. Thank you for listening, we're trying to do the right thing. He sent a little video to say thank you uh, for us doing the right thing and keeping people home. So CJ, we did get your message and, uh, you know, and everyone else's message that we're getting and receiving. Uh, I know the other thing, I've been getting a lot of uh, emails on the Operation Gridlock, people are talking about having op uh, April the 22nd. People, come on, stay home, seriously. There's a reason why I, I, I know that you wanna get out into the community and you want things reopened. Let the governor do his job. Let the governor figure it out how we're gonna reopen. Let the governor's people uh, ease us back in. Or, you know, I mean, uh, the, the protest isn't gonna do anything. It really isn't. Stay home, how about that? Stay home or come work at Feed Albany. If you, you're antsy and you wanna help out, you wanna deliver food, you wanna go help out people in the community, here's something for you to do. You wanna get out of your house, come volunteer. Come volunteer and help people that need help. So if you're that bored and you're going that crazy, uh, please, by all means, come work for Feed Albany. They can put you to work, you can package food, you can do deliveries, we can utilize you the right way. Um, and trust me, uh, my uh, daughter Taryn, I'm tired of doing TikTok videos. Uh, you know, that's driving me crazy, you know, but uh, every day I got five new TikTok videos I have to do with her at nighttime when I get home. So, uh, yes, Taryn, I'll look forward to that again today when I get home to do a TikTok video. But we're doing things, and it's actually great to have the family time to rebond with your loved ones in your house or via Skype or Zoom or whatever you're using. So, um, again, it's different times. It's a marathon, and uh, we all know it's 15th of May now. Uh, we have to take a deep breath, work together as a community, and uh, we'll get through this. We're gonna get through this. We're, you know, this is what's great about, we're New Yorkers, we get through everything. But we can only do this working together. So again, thank you to everyone, and uh, I appreciate it.